Hi guys, welcome to another video for our pretty looking Galaxy J7 2015 and in this video we are going to review the Max Rexon for the Galaxy J7 2015. So let's start the process and we will also review it. set up of all boot your phone into okay i think uh, this is normal so i will power this off and boot it and this is my childhood photo i'm looking great okay let's uh, this is not a good one. let's go and reboot your phone into recovery you can do by directly pressing this if you're on advanced power menu if you have advanced power menu you can go by that and just power off your device reboot into recovery mode by using this combination which is the volume up button the home button and the power button there should be a download mode button or a recovery mode button because it's sketch uh, i hope samsung will do it and never no samsung will not do <laughs> let's now go into install and oh sorry what directly installed let's go to backup and you have to back up your uh, older ROM now and this is the not a new recovery this is just a theme recovery so if you want a video on this okay many of users know already but if you want a dedicated video on this DT or recovery theming just comment down in below okay if any one comment is also there I will just go with your request okay so only one comment needed huh. so you need to back up here now let's go to wipe advanced wipe advanced swipe dial cage data and system and your recovery may be bluish color so you need to wipe all this no need to wipe the system and all, uh, f uh, internal storage and sd card now let's go to install and it is the mamax rex wrong and we also have the six toggle which is an add-on to the mama rex so for do not install the add-on while booting the rom first so first boot the rom so okay first i will install this uh, rom and then so the add-on uh, what if you add on uh, the six toggle zip if you flash with this when your device gets uh, booted up it will uh, show that the system you have stopped so please don't do this And installation is quick because no add-ons and mods in built in the Aroma installer. That is great. So the add-ons are directly built in to, uh, uh, no, not built in really, but these are also mods. Six toggle zip and we get pawn 3 audio mod, not pawn, P-O-N, okay, not P-O-R-N. So that pawn 3 audio mod is not really that good uh, because I tried it. I would like, uh, I would suggest you to install the Viper for Android FX because it is a permissive kernel inbuilt. So you will install Viper for FX or uh, go with the audio FX with file manager. Uh, not audio FX, uh, extreme music. That are, they are, both are very awesome. Not others, but Dolby Atmos is good like for your speakers but okay the video is on the wrong so let's focus on that boot damage patcher so now it's patching the kernel Now it's done next and reboot your device do not install the uh, extra mod which is given there the if you want the sound mod to do not install it now so yeah galaxy s8 boot logo as we have in it and it will boot loop once so please do not take any attention to it it will, it will boot loop once then it will uh, start really good again the boot logo I 
and you can see now it's working so let this long boot up i will give you the full review and also share the battery details in here i will say and also please check the description if you in case you missed the battery details of vzvx so yes the vzvx rom video is here okay i hope you can see this right i button click on that go to vzvx video all those details so now let's wait for it to reboot the device is booted up and we get aces wallpapers and plus the plus this uh, some of the acid wallpapers now we can see the system UI is no good I need a notification Volt is working but I have inserted the uh, Geo sim in my uh, J716 so sorry but Volt is working yes I have seen Volt working because when I was testing this if you have seen it let's go now into settings and view it and we can see this is fully based on the nameless ROM nothing changed at all when you can see here wait here we can see reboot menu is nameless power menu so it's fully based on nameless ROM some edits are done on this ROM also it's a fully great deep bloated no extra things are here here you can see that Samsung themes and all is not there calculator is working for those who have a doubt also the Samsung notes is working properly Skip here. Samsung notes and all these are working. That's great. Moving towards uh, the asset launcher, it's working fully perfect. Not like other uh, ROMs when it, it doesn't get stuck here and there, so it's working perfectly. Let's go and see the device maintenance. How much RAM we get saved? Let's go to RAM. And it's saved like okay. Let's clear it. I think it's about five hundred MB. Yes, it should be about five hundred MB. Is the VisuX go straight away to five? Okay, four forty nine. That's very low. That's very poor. VisuX goes up to five eighty, five ninety. But this is not well optimized. So for performance, I will suggest you VisuX and the ROM video installation. Everything is in this I button. So please press this. Now apps, you can use camera, it's all the same, we get in all features here. Yes, all features are present. That's great totally. Going back down, email and all apps. So gallery apps are all different and the apps the asset remake icons are used because not the original asset icons. Original but colors are different, so that is great. Uh, we can view this uh, in a multicolor and also you can uh, I will use this uh, asset wallpaper so we get both combination asset wallpaper and for the uh, normal wallpapers we get only this A series wallpapers but for the lock screen wallpapers we get the asset uh, wallpapers so here's the a screen wallpaper and here they said uh, HD wallpaper so I think brightness is more that's why it's coming Overall smoothness of the ROM is okay but it doesn't save much more power and RAM so battery is also not uh, like that optimized like I see in Evil's UX it's really awesome and I cannot see that good battery because I've used it for two days so it's not like that tough but I got a screen on time of like literally 5 hours and 70 uh, so not 70 57 minutes so it's nearly 6 hours only just 3 minutes lower so that was a review okay i think i left something <laughs> not the review is not going to end here okay antidote test if you want to test uh, the test score is really same like all other ROMs. so that uh, yeah that antidote test score is down below in the comment section and if you like this video press the like button if you don't press the dislike button oh 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 and if you want more upcoming videos on the J7 2015 and the J7 2016 too, okay, let me get, let it get here. Okay, J7 2016 too, please subscribe to this channel and all the comments related to this and help related to this. Post it in the comment section, I will reply it as soon as I get the comment or later on while I am not busy. So, okay, 
goodbye and we'll see you in the next video in the meantime bye